Hey guys, Bluefin 100 back again with another Beyblade unboxing. And once again, I'm gonna open up more packages from Bai. Now, again, if you have not seen the previous videos regarding to Bai, and if you're not aware of it, Bai is a proxy website where you can pretty much buy anything from Japan. It could be either anime, tokusatsu, or anything Japanese related. Hell, even K pop related. But I'm gonna open up two packages. Yeah, two packages. Uh, this big box and then, well, this from Bai. So, obviously, I'm gonna start off with uh, this one first. I'm just gonna get this big box out of the way here. And just like with the previous Bai video, it's only just one single Beyblade in here. So, I have no clue why they keep putting it in this big ass, well, UPS box. But let's go ahead and get this open. Okay. All right, so got that open. And let me see if I can take the Beyblade out from the box. Just give me a sec. So here is the first Beyblade that I got. Yeah, I got myself another Ultimate Frosted Dronzer. Yeah, so uh, the reason why I got another Ultimate Frosted Dronzer was because, well, I needed a spare one. And also, if for some reason the Revi version, which is TT Hongli, somehow breaks since I bought that like, what, 10 years ago already, I'm kind of scared that might break on me. So that's why I got this one. So. Yeah, and it looks very identical to my original version I had over 20 years ago. Which, yes, this Beyblade was pretty much my first official Beyblade that I bought as a kid. So, yeah, there's that. Actually, I'm going to put it on the side because I'm actually going to move on to this big-ass box right here. And to be honest, I completely forgot what I got in this big box. But I know I got like two of the same Beyblades and then I got some Burst Beyblades in here and a couple of other stuff. But let's go ahead and finally open this up. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, finally got that open. Sorry, it took a little too long. Uh, but sorry if you can't really see here. Let me just uh, fix the little camera angle. There you go. And, oh yeah, shit. Okay, let's go ahead and open this uh, box. Okay, finally got that open. And, oh my gosh! Another one. Another freaking box! Oh my lord. Okay, uh, let's actually go through, well, the thing that's in the freaking green bag first. Just give me a sec here. Take this stupid other box out first and oh oh yeah I think it's some other stuff in here so let's open up this one first let's get that box out of the frame first sorry about that so uh the first thing in this uh green bag and, uh, what is this okay another freaking box all right let's just see what it is and oh okay so it's just yeah okay this is just nothing so put that over there uh so if you can tell already if i can open it i got another dragoon v2 yeah but this time it's with the limited edition stickers and it's so shiny as well um uh, let me just uh, assemble this for quick all right there you go here's the uh Play base and here obviously came with a uh, extra weight disc so pretty cool gonna put that beside our uh, ultimate classic drawser now the next two things here which again I don't even remember uh, what's in these or what I got all right so got those out of the little uh, green bags but the seller actually left a uh, note. Obviously, I can't read in Japanese, but pretty sure it says thank you for purchasing it, but I don't know. So, the Beyblade that I got from one of those green bags, if I can take it out, is this. Yeah, Manta Diver finally got this. Although it's, well, the uh, dark blue color or the Orca Diver color, I don't really mind as much. Because, well, if I can open this one up, lo and behold, I got a second one. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Uh, so I'm going to be putting this one for a display, obviously, because this is, well, pretty much in mint condition. While this one, 
Well, not so much. Also because this one pretty much has the majority of the uh, proper Manta Diver uh, color. So let's go ahead and take that out. Just give me a sec here. All right, so got that out of the little cardboard. I'll do the same thing with the blue version. And yeah, so let's go ahead and assemble the both of them. And there you go. Really, really nice. Um, I might consider painting, well, the attack ring on this one just because, well, that way I can have a anime accurate version of Manta Diver. So yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and put those on the side. And now moving on to the other box. Oh gosh. Okay. And, oh wow, Japanese newspaper. And yeah, as you can see, I'm just gonna put that on the side. Yeah, I got, I'm pretty sure, the final Beyblade Burst set by Takara. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I'm not too sure though, but obviously this is with the new Spriggan and uh, Ultimate Valkyrie. This is obviously different from the first release of Ultimate Valkyrie because, well, this one has a XL driver, obviously very reminiscent of the first Valkyrie. And same thing with uh, this Spriggan. This is called Burst Spriggan 8. Yeah, so I'm guessing that uh, this is pretty much a callback to when Burst was first released. I'm not too sure though, but I am going to be opening this up, probably not after this video, but sometime in the upcoming months. But yeah, there is that. And now let's move on to the last thing that I got from that big ass package. And, oh, it's in a bag. Huh. That's weird. Okay. So, in this one, I got launchers and a couple of uh, grips for the easy grip. So, I have this. The little uh, sniper support for Drasil or the Max uh, Easy Grip, which I do have the Max Easy Grip from G Revolution, so I can finally put this on that grip. And I also have, if I can not break it, a Dragon Whip Sword, but with the uh, blue rubber support parts. Pretty cool. And here is an Easy Grip, a legit blue Easy Grip, not the TT Hongi version I have. And also it came with the uh, little trigger supports. And here is uh, the spring support, obviously for Dronzer. And I think this is the one that was used in G Revolution. And I have a HMS uh, launcher and a uh, plastic launcher, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much all of the things that I got from that big box and the other package that I got from Bai. Now, at the time of this recording, just like with the first Bai video I did, I actually have another package that are coming from Bai once again. So, just like before, I'll see you guys later in the second part to this unboxing. Two weeks later. All right, so it's actually been two weeks since I recorded that video. Well, at the time of this recording, at least. Uh, but I did get that second package right after I did that video. So let's go ahead and, well, move all of this on the side whoops so that I can open up this so there's actually a few things in this box as compared to well that one so let's go ahead and open this up eventually all right so finally got that open and as always let's start off with the little uh, green bag so uh, I think yeah I mean my scissors again and I'm always unprepared for this Okay, so in uh, this, I don't know if you can tell, let me just take this uh, out of the bubble wrap, is another Random Booster Volume 12. Yeah, but it's actually, well, let me just uh, show it to you if I can, there you go. It's actually just the blade base and uh, some of the other parts like the weight disc, bit chip, and so on and so forth. There's no actual attack ring or sticker sheet or whatnot. Uh, so I don't know what the attack ring was for this Beyblade uh, before I got it. So yeah, but it's actually the uh, blue recolored version of uh, Venus because of, well, the blade base. And yeah, also if you guys didn't see my uh, Venus unboxing from 
2021. Of course, these are the six random blades you can get, Apollon, Poseidon, Venus, the yellow version of Dragon V2, and the blue version of Drasil V, and the secret prize Beyblade, which is, of course, Thunder Pegasus. Whether it be in the uh, dark blue version or the toy colored version of Thunder Pegasus, which, like I mentioned before, it's not really, well, anime accurate, but whatever. And now for the second uh, thing in the green bag, which can't really tell what's inside of this one. Uh, I think it's, oh great, another bag. And okay, at least this one is not, well, taped again. And just uh, take this out of the bubble wrap again. Okay, so the thing I got from that second green bag is, well, this. Let me just, well, take it out. I'll just show you one of the parts. Yeah, I finally got my hands on the Takar version of Fang Leon after so many years. Because, well, I'm not really a fan of the, uh, well, the first release of Fang Leon that Hasbro... Uh, released so I kind of regret on not getting well the Takar version or even the Sonicon version or hell even the Beyblade Legends version which I was originally going to get like when it was still being released but uh, I was still in that phase where I still despised the Mel Saga but yeah there you go finally got the better version of Fang Leon and one that has the uh, actual 4D function to it. So yeah, this is one of the uh, modes for Fang Leon. I'll show you the second uh, 4D mode and there you go. Also looks really nice. And I really, really, really wish that I used this version of uh, my battle with this and Drowser MS because, well, this one just looks so much cooler than, well, the first Hasbro release of, well, this blade, but yeah, let's go ahead and put it back to its original mode. So there is that. And the final thing I got from that, let me just take that out of the box. Let me just take that out and the little bubble wrap. Hold on, give me a sec. Is this, yeah. I finally have and own a HMS string launcher, aka the original Beyblade string launcher, which looks really, really neat. And obviously this is the launcher that Daichi used in G Revolution. So yeah, that's really, really cool. And it kind of sucks that I don't have any of the stickers on this, but oh well. Hopefully I can find a uh, sticker sheet for that soon. But let's go ahead and uh, open the inside of this uh, launcher. So. Yeah, basically, like, in the show, I think you would have to clip this on and then, well, release that. I still need to figure this out myself, but there's actually a video explaining how to uh, do this. But since this is my first time owning this, I might have a hard time, well, putting this back together. But yeah, those are all the things that I bought from Bai again. Now, before I end the video, uh, I didn't get this from Bai. I actually got this from my parents because, well, they were actually on vacation. They went to the Philippines and they brought back a couple stuff for me and my sister and they got me this from the Philippines. Yeah, I finally got another DB Beyblade. Yeah, this is actually like, what, my second or third DB Beyblade? And it's one of the few DB Beyblades that I really wanted to get, but obviously I didn't have the time for it. But yeah, I got my hands on Greatest Raphael or uh, Glory Ragnar. I think that's the dub name. I don't know. But yeah, I'll be opening this up very, very soon. Probably after this uh, Valkyrie Spriggan set. I don't know. But you'll see an unboxing of this very, very soon. And yeah, now this is not a lot for those of you who are wondering. I'll tell you the actual price for this Beyblade when I get to the unboxing of it. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure you guys check out my previous Beyblade unboxings and make sure to check out the previous buy videos and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. So until next time, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.